Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and today we are diving into an efficient mobile app development workflow. Whether you are a designer, developer or a combination of both, this tip will help you streamline your process and deliver high quality app faster. So let's get started. So if you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So our first step is all about the design inspiration before you start coding it is crucial to have a clear design concept in your mind to do this check out a platform like Tribble for the design inspiration and the ideas basically Tribble is a fantastic resource for finding beautiful and user-friendly design concept that can kickstart your project so here you can go in the dribble.com and from there you can go to the mobile category and all here you can see mobile you can click here you will see a lot of designs here you can pick any of those design and or you can find out your design on the basis of your concept of the application and all you can put here like grocery app and we can press enter here you will see a lot of design will come here you can pick any of them and you can get the inspiration from those design and you can modify the design or you can also use the same design but give the credit to the designer so now let's talk about a handy tool that is called as a SCR CPY. basically it's allow you to mirror your mobile screen directly on your computer and this is a very absolutely useful for testing and debugging your mobile application in the real time and it is a fast, reliable and work with both Android and iOS devices. So let's see how it's work. So in this way, it will mirror your screen. What you have to do, you have to just follow this guide and all. Like if you are in a Mac OS or you are a window on a Linux, you can click here. You will get the guide how to install it. If you are a Mac OS, you have to open the terminal and there you have to run this command and it will install there. Then after that when you have to start the application you have to just open a terminal and you have to put this command it will open your connected device on the basis of that adb connected in the same way you can do for the windows also so now let's talk about a project management and to keep your development process organized and efficient you have to consider or adopting the agile methodology basically agile encourages the shorter development cycle called as a sprints and these sprints are for the two weeks and it will help us to breaking our project into multiple tasks and all which is manageable task so our next step is basically for our flutter developer they have to pay attention to this step because it is very tempting to always update to the later version of the flutter but it is not always the best practice especially during your project instead you can stick to a stable version of the flutter because updates can introduce a breaking change also and compatibility issue with your existing plugins which you have used in a project so by staying in a stable version you can minimize the risk of unexpected problems during your project delivery lastly let's talk about the development environment so we can recommend you using the visual studio code commonly known as a vs code because it is a very powerful and a lightweight code editor with excellent support for Flutter and a Dart. Also, it's come with a wide range of extensions that can enhance your development experience, matching it. It's a top choice for many Flutter developers, and I also highly recommend it to use a VS Code also. Even if you are not around to your environment, like not with your system and all, you can also use it in the browser also. Here you can see we have the browser running on that Visual Studio code and all. So by implementing these practice, you can ensure a more efficient and productive development process. I hope you like these tips and all. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for joining us today and happy coding.